information addiction or the neuroscience of curiosity. Food, finance and drugs are known addictive to humans. These addiction is carried out in the human brain through a dopaminergic pathway. Obtaining new information is also addictive. Can't stop checking your phone, even when not expecting any important messages. A study by researchers at University of California, Berkeley's School of Business has found that information acts on the brain's dopamine producing reward system in the same way as money or food. Information acquisition shares the same dopamine producing reward system pathway as food, financial rewards and drugs. To the brain, information is its own reward, above and beyond whether it's useful, or not. And just as our brains like empty calories from junk food, they can overvalue information that makes us feel good but may not be useful, what some may call idle curiosity. In the paper, Common Neural Code for Reward and Information Value, published in June 2019, by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, demonstrates that the brain converts information into same common scale as it does for money. Authored by Ming Su, an associate professor and neuroeconomist, at the University of Pennsylvania, Uke Berkeley's Hess School of Business. He also lays the groundwork for unraveling the neuroscience behind how we consume information, and perhaps even digital addiction. Researchers demonstrate for the first time the existence of a common neural code for information and money, which opens the door to a number of exciting questions about how people consume, and sometimes overconsume, information. The paper is rooted in the study of curiosity and what it looks like inside the brain. Economists have tended to view curiosity as a means to an end, valuable when it can help us get information to gain an edge in making decisions, whereas the psychologists have long seen curiosity as an innate motivation that can spur actions by itself. The sports fans might check the odds on a game even if they have no intention of ever betting. How does the brain respond to information? To understand more about the neuroscience of curiosity, the researchers scanned the brains of people while they played a gambling game. Analyzing the FMRI scans, the researchers found that the information about the game's odds activated the regions of the brain specifically known to be involved in valuation, the stratum and ventromedial prefrontal cortex or VMPFC, which are the same dopamine-producing reward areas of the brain activated by food, money, and many drugs. This was the case whether the information was useful and changed the person's original decision, or not. Anticipation serves to amplify how good or bad something seems, and the anticipation of a more pleasurable reward makes the information appear even more valuable. The researchers were able to determine that the brain uses the same neural code for information, as it does for valuation or money by using a machine learning technique, called support vector regression. That allowed them to look at the neural code for how the brain responds to varying amounts of money, and then ask if the same code can be used to predict how much a person will pay for information. In other words, just as we can convert such disparate things as a painting, a steak dinner, and a vacation into a dollar value, the brain converts curiosity about information into the same common code it uses for money and other concrete rewards. We can look into the brain and tell how much someone wants a piece of information, and then translate that brain activity into monetary amounts. The way our brains respond to the anticipation of a pleasurable reward is an important reason why people are susceptible to clickbait. Just like junk food, this might be a situation where previously adaptive mechanisms get exploited now that we have unprecedented access to novel curiosities. Thanks for listening.